Sure enough, that was the Byleth selection with Ganondorf being picked by Bandit. No shock there. So Carbon Copy is looking with this Byleth to uh, match the oomph that Ganondorf can put out, but also having some good range to go with it. And good command grab there from Bandit. Just goes into the down tilt. Nice safe choice. Perfect shield on that into the Warlock kick. Going to get a lot of damage and push carbon copies off the side of the stage. But a good recovery. Gets back over top using that platform for repositioning. Neutral air. Arrow not quite going to land. And carbon copies. Trying to punish that ledge instead takes a fist himself and uh, flying on the other side there. 130 onto Carbon Copies, 114 onto Bandit. Either of these characters could easily die to the other at the moment. Uh, they're both heavy hitters. Good neutral air there to uh, eat up the Warlock Kick coming out from Bandit. And that Warlock Kick though pushes him all the way to the corner. He just makes it back. And Bandit gonna take the first stock. One forty eight. Ganon will just make it back from that. That will send him out the top, though, for the star kill. So down to a gentleman's two stock as Carbon Copies is able to play cleanly on his respawn and take care of business. Oh no, Bandit puts himself in a bad spot. He's holding down and just fast falls off the ledge. Carbon Copies getting something for nothing there. And Bandit, gotta be a little frustrated on that. Once again, he's going, going with the nice safe down tilt of that uh, command grab choke. Oh, Carbon Copies finds the perfect distance though, gets the tipper, sends him out. Game one going the way of Carbon Copies. And both players sticking to their characters. The early damage definitely going the way of Bandit right now. That forward air giving him some good stage control. Carbon is able to make it back. Retake stage control. Goes for the full blast. And I think Gator clanked that. Or did he uh, just have an iframe left? That was interesting there. <laughs> but either way, Carbon at 118, Bandit at 74. But Carbon is pushing the damage back into his favor here. 
They're almost evened up. That Warlock Kick will be enough, though. And once again, Banda getting the first stock off of a Warlock Kick. And once again, Carbon Copy's getting the Gentleman's two stock. This time, he really only needed one hit to do it, though. Carbon adjusting well, shielding most of these Warlock Kicks now. Making Bandit work for it. That time he just goes for the spot dodge. Turn around and hits him in the back. Bandit deciding it's safer on the edge at the moment. Uh, comes back up though and Carbon immediately just hauling him off into the air. Clank there. Not able to get the two frame from Carbon copies. A punish there on the attempt at the command grab. Uh, Bandit trying that from pretty far out. Most of his command grabs he's gotten at point blank recently. And Bandit down to his final stock of the tournament here. Carbon copies at 66%. I mean, we all know that can uh, change very quickly against a Ganondorf. Up smash just out of range there. Oh, Bandit lets that go any sooner and he brings Carbon down to final stock, but he gets a little too greedy. And there, though, he does get it. Bandit, 42% as we head into this final stock. And Carbon getting punched right away. This is evened up. Anyone's game here in game two. Is Carbon going to clutch it out? Or will Bandit get the comeback? The clutch is there. Carbon copies 2-0.